So I thought I'd make a really quick video about the Switch bike. Um, if I'd had any brains, of course, I'd have unwrapped the package and made a video while I was building it, but I didn't do that. But I want to tell you a couple of things about it that I think might be helpful. Uh, so the Switch bike, this is the whole bike from Switch. And as far as I can tell on their website, there's almost no information about this. They did write to me and say that very, very few people bought the whole bike. Um, and most people were just getting the battery and the special wheel. So the difference here, I think, is that the wheel is on the, the powered wheel is on the back. You can tell it there, that's the power thing. And now it's all up and working. The good news is it goes like a rocket. I've got the version that goes 28 miles an hour, which is legal in the US. And uh, looking forward to uh, spending some time uh, use, using it. The uh, other thing is that when I actually built it, it came in different sections. The whole of this section was all in one piece, which is great. Uh, the seat post was out separate. That wasn't too hard to figure out how to put that in, although it doesn't have a, you can see it doesn't have a, uh, a, 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 a an easy on-off clamp, which is kind of annoying. You need to get the Allen wrench out to move it. The handlebars were a bit, when they came, they were actually pointing downwards and I had to adjust them and then they were separate off and you had to op uh, open it up and then slot it in. It was a bit tricky because all these wires, many of these wires were attached. Uh, many of them were not attached, and that's obvious. The other thing that uh, was a bit tricky, and still is a bit tricky, is the front brake. You notice it doesn't have disc brakes, which is kind of annoying, and I may get it replaced at some point. And this brake has been a little tricky to get to work. Um, needed a bit more back and forth in the play and, and messing with this thing, which was a bit more than I wanted to do, but it was okay. Um, and the back brake works fine. So the, the other thing that didn't come on it was in the packet was the throttle. You had to figure out, remember to take the handles off and put the throttle on and then once you do all that I actually will take the battery pack off bear with me whoops it's all falling apart now the battery there lifts off a couple of things about the battery first is you had to put uh, this piece on and it actually no matter how hard I crank it up I have not succeeded in getting the uh, the piece here to actually adjust to, to get completely tight so it, it should be up like that now one thing I don't know is that when you put the battery pack on I don't know where you put a light because this one goes facing backwards and heading out that way and if you get it too close to the battery pack the battery pack blocks it but anyway um, the battery pack slots on and off pretty easily and when it actually goes down it just the bottom of it just hits the front of the, the bike here then you just it comes you plug all these things in there's I think one for each brake one for the full and one going to the back to the uh, to the battery and I think in the other version the version we put on the front wheel where you like you need the wheel and the battery pack there's a pedal sensor you put somewhere back in the pedals but the pedal assist works really really well um, just goes you know goes off like a rocket and you can obviously use the throttle as well um, if you need to the one thing that completely flummoxed me is the battery pack it's uh, I took it all apart eventually because I couldn't figure out what to do. But it's got a um, two pieces. It's got a thing there that you plug in the, uh, the the charger, and then it's got a USB port, which I have to take it. Well, I'll take it out. Ah! Also, got to come out now. I'm trying to do this. Ah! There it is. Which you can uh, plug a USB charger into, I guess, to take back power off the battery if you want to charge your phone or something. Anyway. Um, I could not for years, I charged it and the charging light went from it. I could not figure out to switch it on. So in ages pressing this button off and on, and that's the power button. What you have to do is hold this button down in between these two, and then it'll come on. And then it's got a speedometer on it, on top, which you, even though it's tilting down, you can kind of read a little bit. And it's got a uh, thing for plugging it up. I've only been up to six so far, seven so far, and even that gets you like 22 miles an hour. I haven't even been the, the full speed of, 28 yet, which I mean, we're pretty, pretty fast on a bike, I think. Um, but good for speeding up that commute to work. And then you can switch off the battery like that, and then it switches itself off. And to get it on, then you can just pick this up and charge it, you know, anywhere you put the charger. To put it on, it's pretty simple. Uh, I only have one hand, so I can't, can't show you doing it, but you just, well, maybe I can do it with one hand. Yeah, you can just drop it on there, press down, and you hear that click, and that's on. So, uh, what else can I tell you about it? Like I said, the front brake is, is not not working very well. I need to adjust that. The rear brake is fine. Look, it's, it's stopped completely. Um, the throttle 
need, need a little bit of all these things need a little bit of jimmying. The throttle is a one piece that has a uh, I can see I can't see it, but it has a uh, no, there there it is. It has a flip screwdriver. Everything else is Allen wrench keys. As I said, this thing that holds on the the thing that holds on the uh, I guess the power mount that holds on the battery tends to sort of snake down like that as I ride along. I just can't get this tight enough. I try to crank it as hard as I can. Um, the brakes work well, and it's a little interesting to figure out how to ride it because it's very heavy at the front end compared to the back end because of this thing, because this battery. But it's actually it's fine once you do it. And the wheels are a little thin. Them that they are kind of just hybrid wheels, but probably could have had some slightly thicker ones like on my uh, regular uh, hybrid bike, which I'll show you over there, which is just a little bit thicker and better, better for, for city roads, so who knows. But the bike wasn't that much more than the whole, uh, than the whole uh, battery pack. I can't remember exactly how much it was. And I don't know if they're going to make many more because they've got very few orders for the bikes, hence there being no videos, no information about how to use the damn thing. Um, on their website where there's a fair amount about how to put on the uh, put on the battery pack and adjust a normal bike to do that. So I think next time I would just get a regular bike and <laughs> buy a regular cheap bike and then add what I liked and add, add a, uh, a new wheel. But for now, uh, it's pretty good. I didn't have a bike at that stage when I bought it. And it was a year ago and I since bought the other bike. But um, so far I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Uh, and as I said, it came in various pieces. The front wheel was separate. The handlebars were separate. The the the, uh, the some the the saddle the saddle post was separate, but it wasn't too hard. I'm a complete incompetent. I managed to put it all together, and haven't yet. Um, seems to be more or less okay. So that's the uh, the switch bike, not just the switch add-on wheel and battery pack.